pag clinically diagnosed, negative ka sa mga sputum test yun sa plema. Mm -hmm. Pero meron ka ubo. Sa x ah. may nakikita akong bahid. Ah, okay. So, clinically diagnosed, Nandun. yung sa tingin ng physician, yung judgment ko is okay. you have TB, mm -hmm. and that is clinically diagnosed. No? Pero pag bacteriologically confirmed, yun yung talagang sa plema ng okay. positive. Mm -hmm. So, for example, regardless, no? kung ano man bacteriologically or clinically, but new case. Okay. Tapos, close contact tayo. We are living in this studio mm -hmm. for 24-7. Mm -hmm. So, we have to check yung makasama ko sa bahay. Kailangan ko silang ipa-chest x-ray mm -hmm. para makita ko if meron ka bang TB or wala. What if multi-drug resistant ako, yeah. no? Mm -hmm. You have to have your sputum tested then, no? Mm -hmm. So talagang very, very important. Lahat na kasi multi-drug resistant TB, yung mga medicines na yan, hindi siya nabibili over the counter. Mm -hmm. Hindi talaga siya nabibili. Okay. But In our country, maganda yung health program natin mm. for the treatment of tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. Even if hindi ka nga multi-drug resistant, makukuha mo yung gamot for free, actually. Uh -huh. So, walang reason for you not to take. So, yung question ni Josh na, paano yung makasama mo? No? Mm -hmm. Yes, nakakahawa siya. In fact, pwede mong hawaan yung mga kasama mo either sa workplace or sa bahay. So, we have to be very, very careful then. And we have stated earlier, mas mabilis pa nga siya makahawa, ay, makapag-transmit na infection to others kesa dun sa uh, COVID. COVID yeah. mm. Mas madami ka pang pwedeng hawaan. Mm. Oh, yeah. Medyo nakapagpapag pala talaga oh. Yes. And alam niyo ba, tuberculosis can also cause death. Maraming yes, mga ma oh. mortalities mm -hmm. na because of tuberculosis, the people might just take for granted. Mm -hmm. Parang, sige, hayaan na lang yan. Hindi ko na inuman ng gamot. Na Akala nila normal na ubo lang. Pero three months na, dumadak na sila ng dugo, wala na. So, you might be too late kung hindi na treat. Kasi it can destroy your lungs, it can affect other parts of the body. One example nga, eh, uh, parang recently, no, so syempre no names stated, no? may patient din na may TB. Tapos, uh, nag-start yung symptoms niya nung, I think before pandemic pa. Okay. Uh -huh. Or early pandemic, 2019, something like that. Late pandemic, 2020, nagpa-consult siya. Pinapainom siya ng maraming gamot. Itong patient, sabi niya, kakakausap ko lang sa kanya nung isang araw eh, bagong referral sa akin. Ay, Dok, so pinainom na ako ng ganitong-ganitong gamot. Kaya lang feeling ko kasi sobrang dami eh. So, kalahati lang iniinom ko. Ay, di ba? So, sabi ko sa kanya, natatakot ka sa madaming gamot hindi ka natatakot na maging resistant yeah. ka to those medicine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, in fact, kapag resistant ka na, mas madami kang iinumin. Mm -hmm. That is, if meron pang gamot na pwede fit for you to take. Mm -hmm. Kasi what if kung lahat resistant? Mm -hmm. okay. Kaya itong patient, pinapa-repeat ko yung sputum test niya. Mm -hmm. We have to do repeat workups, culture. Mm -hmm. Kasi gusto mong makita kung sensitive pa ba siya doon sa magamot or mm -hmm. hindi. So, Baka ba din naman sa mga nagkaroon na ng post-treatment, gumaling na sila, meron ba silang parang uh, yung sa COVID doc na parang uh, hindi sila nagkakasakit ulit after ah, immunity. Oh, immunity, ganun, oh, oh. meron po bang ganun okay. sa So yung immunity kasi, ibig sabihin you, you can be free from reinfection, mm -hmm. but for tuberculosis, sadly, Sadly, you can get it again. Pwede, pwede. Ano yan eh, kung merong free sa mundo, tuberculosis, you can get it again for free. If hindi ka maingat, or if you have been exposed to people na may tuberculosis na not on treatment, pwede. Pero Dok, ito naman, curious lang po ako kasi syempre sa mga nag-work din sa mga hospital, ganyan, syempre na-expose din sila, pero meron din naman tayo mga PPEs. Pero paano po yung pag kumbaga yung pagme-maintain yung kalinisan yung hygiene paano niyo sa kanila I like yung question kasi dito papasok na paano nga ba i-protect yung sarili mo uh, mm -hmm. okay so kapag nag-admit ka ng patient no so syempre dapat na triage mo siya nasa sala mo ay, siya ay, no ay. kung sino ba yung pasyenteng ilalagay mo sa pwedeng semi private no. sino ba yung mailalagay mo sa isolation room so for oh, oh, for we know na yung tuberculosis is nakakahawa mm -hmm. of course kapag sabi mo may TB tong patient sputum mo positive mm -hmm. tapos x-ray mo talagang obviously may tuberculosis mm -hmm. you have to isolate this patient mm -hmm. so itong patient should wear 
proper protection din. Ay, patient mismo. So, ano kaya ang tatunin ng audience? Mm-hmm. Naku, anong mask kaya susuotin ng pasyente? Yung panyo ba? Yung patient can just actually wear yung normal na surgical, surgical mask. mask. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oo, normal surgical mask. Mm-hmm. However, okay. yung mga nag-around sa kanya na doctor, Yon. yung mga nag-duty nurses, o yung mga nag-take care of that patient, should wear yung, ano kaya, sa tingin natin, the N95. Oh. Pag sabi kasi natin, N95, it can filter out 95% mm-hmm. of those bacteria or whatever mm-hmm. pathogens na tinatawag. Mm-hmm. So, dapat N95. No? Mm-hmm. So, hindi naman prudent or necessary na sabihin mo sa pasyente, bumili ka ng N95, mag-N95 ka forever and ever sa kwarto. Mm-hmm. He or she can just wear yung plain surgical mask mm-hmm. okay. para, bakit? Para hindi lang niya i-dahak at Umahalat i-spread. Mm-hmm. Okay. But for us, or for us tayo, no, na bumibisita dun sa patient na yan, mm-hmm. should wear yung N95. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kasi very important yan because hindi naman yung pinaprevent natin from us to the environment. Eh. Mm-hmm. We are protecting ourselves from the environment to ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, N95 yung kailangan. Mm-hmm. So we should know, have the knowledge, kung ano bang klaseng protection yung kailangan natin. Hindi mo naman kailangan magsuot ng full bunny suit. Mm-hmm. Very important talaga yung hazmat mm-hmm. na ano, no need. It's the N95. respirator, the N95. So same mm-hmm. lang din po yung doc if sa bahay na po nagtitreatment yung mm-hmm. isang pasyente na may tuberculosis. Okay. So up to when mo sasabihin hindi na infectious yung pasyente. Ah, yeah. mm-hmm. So yan. So dito nagkakatalo kasi dito nagtatanong, ako doc, kaya na ba ko po yung back to school, back to work? Okay. So if you are clinically diagnosed, ibig sabihin sputum mo negative, mm-hmm. wala ko nakita sa microscope na basilay. Mm-hmm. So how many days? Five days of treatment, cleared ka na for work. Oh. Cleared ka na, yes, pwede ka na bumalik. bumalik sa school or forever na you are going. Pero kapag sputum smear positive ka or culture positive ka or gene expert, which is another technique to diagnose, no positive. So bacteriologically confirmed positive. 14 days of treatment, repeat. Pag nag-negative ka na, cleared ka na. Okay. Oh. So, curious po ako, di ba, sa lahat po pwedeng magkaroon ng tuberculosis, oh, yes. di ba, kahit bata, matanda. Oh, yes. Same po ba ng treatment yun, kahit bata or matanda? Yes, we give the same treatment. Although I'm not a practicing pediatrician, pero of course, for children, mm-hmm. kailangan talaga natin i-compute yung therapeutic dose. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yan. Dito din maganda yung topic na pag-usapan because the treatment per se, mm-hmm. yung medicines, medyo madami siya. Mm-hmm. Example, um, first timer no mm-hmm. you will be given a fixed dose regimen na tinatawag mm-hmm. yung mga tableta no brands um, mm-hmm. mentioned yung mga tinatawag na HRZE no H-R-Z-E. yung isoniazid rifampicin mm-hmm. pyrazinamide ethambutol regimen H-R-Z-E. that i will assume normal yung kidney function mo mm-hmm. normal yung liver mm-hmm. function mo so dapat meron din tayong baseline na test mm-hmm. so you will be given HRZE so for example based sa weight niya I'll give you four tablets once a day. Mm-hmm. Usually standard for almost all of us Filipinos, Asians, mm-hmm. around four. Bihira lang yung medyo talaga malaking build na umabot ka ng five tablets. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we do have, no? Mm-hmm. But usually, kung na sa'yo, no? Talaga ikaw yung... Ikaw yung yung sabay. Ito para sa'yo, apat pala. Four tablets, no? So kung nari lang nagtitake na siya ng ganyan, no? We have to inform them na may mga kaakibat din talagang side effects, mm-hmm. no? Yung mga medicines. Kaya yung tinatanong nyo na sa bata ba or matanda, oh, oh. same treatment? Same. Yes, same. But of course, for children, kailang yeah. i-compute, no? Mm. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng four tablets na yun din yung papainom natin oh. sa babies or sa children na sobrang maliit lang yung bill. Kinocompute talaga siya, no? 